G'day YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, there's been a few people asking me from oh, all over the world actually about um, flashing your ECU and just to get a bit more in-depth on how to do that. So um, first things first, you're going to need to a uh, one of these hex, hex cable from MPPS. Um, you can get, I suppose, V13, that work, I know that works. I've just purchased, um, that's actually my, my, my mate's one, uh, Mike, that's his one. And I've purchased my own V21. But yeah, nevertheless, they both do the exact same thing. You are going to need to prep the cable first in order to, to tune it inside the car. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through all the effort of removing the ECU from the car and then, you know, finding power source for it um, on a bench and then going on to uh, to flashing it so waste of time just uh, reconfigure the cable initially and you'll be able to jump the uh, the power source from the battery all the way to the ECU while you're flashing it so one way to do it is or well, the only way to do it on this cable is to open it up so there'll be two screws or four like my one one two three four and then you can pry it open and do it carefully um, it's on this side actually, so, you know, um, and yeah, you're going to have to, uh, to jump, um, the two, uh, pins, so, I think it's, uh, like that. Alright, I'll find out what the pins are, but I'll let you know. Um, but essentially, you're jumping the, I think it's the, um, oh, from left to right, it's uh, the last one to the one, two, three, fourth. And that provides, I think there's power source coming into one of the pins, but it's not at the right pin for the uh, ECU. So you just grab a bit, a bit of wire, a bit of soldering, make sure you've got uh, steady hands. Unlike, uh, unlike your hands, Mike, but, um, you know, solder it, do a decent job, and then you can pop the, um, the, uh, the covers back on. So that's preparation done. The second part is when you install, or when you buy, sorry, the, um, when you buy the cable, I'll have to log in here. Um, so I'm a bit cheeky here, I've stolen my uh, daughter's laptop and uh, given her mine actually, so we've done a bit of a, a switcheroo um, and I'll close all these apps. But what you've got to need is to install MPPS, it comes with the cable so you might have to you know, disable you know, your antivirus or whatever and make sure you're using it on a laptop where you don't really care about so that if things go wrong you can always um, you know have all your data backed up um, on your main computer so what you're going to need to do is install it um, in the, on the desktop uh, install it onto your computer there's like a file you can install I don't know if I've got the file but it comes with the cable anyway so you don't need to search for it um, essentially you just run the install it'll ask you you know various things you, you go next 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 install and when you get to a point where you can run um, the application before you do, you're going to need to plug the cable into the OBD2 socket. All right. So what I'll do here is I'll cut to um, to the part where I'm in the car. Righto. So I'm in the car now. So um, before I go on, uh, I've got to mention that I'm not writing any any of my own tunes. I did have a look at that, but it's highly complex and you need to know what you're doing and if you're starting out new and you don't have the proper files um, I suggest just keep reading and keep uh, YouTubing wherever you can and just do a bit more um, uh, research before getting into it um, I get all my files from Technic Tuning from uh, the UK he still supports the AGU I understand he stopped tuning those for a while because it was a huge pain in the ass but he's since back on the bandwagon and he's um, better than ever so um, word of, uh, I guess word of warning, do it at your own risk, have a spare ECU, 
just in case you brick the one that you have and um, and uh, your car uh, stops working so you know that's something to uh, consider as well go to wreckers find us you know a spare ECU use that get it um, uh, emo defeated or you know or adapt the, uh, the immobilizer to the uh, to the new ECU or to the cluster um, and I might actually do a video on that as well because um, I've had to do it once or twice already and uh, um, you know I didn't have a lot of information on hand at the time so um, but yeah so I'll get back to, to tuning so um, you know so you've in, you've, got, you've bought the cable and you can get that from Aliexpress uh, V13 or V3021 that they both work prep the cable get the tuning files from uh, you know from wherever and um, and yeah go to your car make sure you, you've got a battery charged connected that's what I always do I've got a uh, battery charger or stabilizer to make sure the voltage don't, doesn't drop because if it does um, again you might brick the ECU and then you're going to have to um, uh, to get it bench flashed and you know get into root access and try and recover it from there and that's a huge pain in the ass so um, avoiding all that plug your car in um, plug the cable into the OBD2 port and then there it is plug the cable into the uh, the computer so um, you do have to run it in administrator mode so I've right clicked on the app and because it's so slow it takes a while and I'm going to run it as uh, administrator like so I'll say do you want to I'm going to say yes play with my ECU and the app should open but if it doesn't you're going to have to go through and troubleshoot why your computer uh, sucks and you know if you're running an Apple don't use an Apple um, use a, a Windows PC um, but yeah that's what it looks like when it connects um, the tricky bit here is to um, to find out what sort of ECU you have if you are running an AGU um, motor like me your ECU will be uh, an M 3.8.3 doesn't have it listed here for whatever reason but you can use 1.8 T Bosch M5 uh, sorry M 5.9.2 K-Line all right and um, and yeah you can uh, let me just quickly do an, an ECU ID just to, to check it right so it's connecting it's come back saying yep that's your you know that's your ECU it's a Bosch 06A blah 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 CH so CH is more relevant for Australian ECUs you might have CG or uh, you know an R or something at the end but you know if it's an AGU and if it's an old um, M3.8.3 ECU do it the exact same way you know what you do from here is um, you've got the files already from uh, from wherever you go to write click on write okay choose your tuning file got a few here that's from online and from uh, from him click the file click open and uh, I won't do it now but it'll then start to write and it's important here don't touch the computer don't turn the don't turn the uh, the car off leave the ignition on make sure it's on battery charging and um, and wait for the bars to go across to 100 now that process can take up to 10 minutes uh, mine took about five but some cars are slower for whatever reason also depends on your laptop as well um, and when it's done it will tell you to turn the car off so then you'll cycle the car the ignition off it'll tell you to turn the car back on again and then you're right to go so at that point what I would do is just switch the car on let it idle for about you know five minutes let it relearn all its values talk to all the sensors again and um, and make sure it's idling um, um, smoothly uh, then you can go for a quick test drive like I do I just quickly go down the road up and down and if anything pops off like a boost pipe or something at least you can go home and get some tools and you know, and fix the car um, but yeah so you know a um, couple of things to do before you actually flash the car I would always do the maintenance on it make sure all of the um, servicing is up to date your oils your coolant 
you know filters make sure that's all done your timing belt is done water pump is done check all of your boost pipes because 20 years later they will crack and they will you know have gaps somewhere and you might get a you know boost leak somewhere or the pipes might come off like it happened to me um check your pcv valve under the under the inlet manifold there's two three nipples that you need to check and follow the lines brake booster follow that make sure it's running properly um so when you when you're certain that you know to the best of your ability that's running correctly then go for a tune test drive it um, but also do not forget to um, monitor somehow monitor the boost because stock is about seven to eight and you know a mild you know a, a, a tune on it with stock parts will get you about 15 16 psi uh, a tune with the downpipe and an intercooler will get you about 18 psi. Um, KO3S, you can push it above and beyond 20 psi. I'm running 24 psi with some injectors and a, and a, and a bigger MAF, so it's dumping more fuel, it's uh, uh, reading the air um, a little bit lower to compensate, um, and it's um, yeah, it's uh, boosting a, a, little, a lot higher. So. Um, Expect anywhere uh, you know, the power range of uh, up to 200, you know, 200 horsepower for stock KO3. KO3S will get you about 225 with stock injectors um, and stock uh, MAF, uh, and, and beyond that, up to about 240 uh, horsepower with the injectors and uh, MAF. And that's with all the other bolt-ons like your um, downpipe, intercooler, inlet, um, inlet pipe, um, silicon. Um, if you have an oversized one, you'll, you'll get another. You'll get some more gains as well with the tune. Otherwise, if you have a stock one, um, you still you'll still do all right. Just you know, you'll just miss out on a you know a few horsepower here and there. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Um, it's not rocket science um, and isn't hard. I don't know why people haven't shown this already, but you know, you're not exactly riding the tunes to blow up your car. Um, you know, obviously speak to people who are, who are uh, reputable. Um, like I said, Technic Tuning does all my tuning. He's done all of the KO3S stuff that I've been mucking around with and I've now got a KO4 and he's, he's, he's written a few tune files for me for the KO4 already. Um, I just need time to put the KO4 on Put the tune on test it and come back to him with some you know some feedback um but otherwise yeah it's um that's pretty much it I, I don't know if i've missed anything um but if i have sorry you know do your own research sort of thing um i'm just trying to help the community especially with the older you know agu um not many people like to tune it anymore or even flash any files on it um but yeah dude um yeah guys i will leave you with that and if you have uh, any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try my best to uh, answer uh, answer them um, like I have with the other videos um, and I will come back with um, some more content. Thanks guys and uh, yeah see you in the next see you in the next video.